Good morning. Happy to be back home. Whew. Really great trip. Now I've got the exciting task of doing all the things to catch my life back up. Handling mail it sucks. However, like I said yesterday, I got a bunch of really cool shit in. So let's go over. Um, awesome folks at uh, 2XU Compression Company sent me some stuff. Sent me a pair of compression pants and some leg sleeves. Nice. And uh, thank you guys. Thanks so much for sending some stuff. Um, really appreciate it. And, you know, this... So a lot of this stuff isn't something I asked for or offered. These are friends that I've made throughout the industry, and they're just rad. I've made rad friends. I'm actually going to put one of these on now. Get some old squeezing on the leg. So compression is going to be one of those things that I can't recommend enough. Like Post-surgery or if you've got some nagging injuries. I don't mean a brace. <coughs> but some type of compression. It's going to help. Keep things a little locked down. It's going to help keep fluid out of the area. <sighs> That's why they put them on you post-surgery. That's why they're awesome. And the good stuff is expensive. Um, I do work with skins. And as well as uh, it seems 2XU is going to... Well, 2XU sent me some stuff. I don't know how long I'll be working with them. They're red. Let's see what else I got. Got a shirt from uh, Address and Attack. So Aaron Moore runs a fitness company, Address and Attack, and I think he does some programming, some personal training, as well as, um, well, he makes music. Makes music for my, my uh, all my stuff. And he's linked down below. If you need any music for your YouTube channel or other stuff like that that's not gonna have any copyright issues, hit up Aaron. He can do a great job and kind of create whatever it is you need. Next, ooh, refills. I've been running the Power Dot like a maniac. Since I'm basically only running it on my quad right now, I usually only run one at a time, but I've almost got one running like all the time. 60% of the time, all the time. The pads go bad, that's how it goes. But these dudes are rad, sent me some pads and uh, check those guys out. Also link below, I got a discount for Power Dot. Um, this could be one of my favorite toys I've gotten. I like that it's low key enough with the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth works really well. It very it never loses connection. Uh, I mean, if I leave the room or, or something like that where my phone is, but I don't. Check those guys out. They're awesome. And the big box of goodies I received from the fattest of them all, all Mark Bell. Got a year off the team snow globe. That's next level. It's the weirdest gift I've ever fucking gotten. But that'll live on my desk. Happy to be off the team. we got an awesome box of goodies. Mark's amazing. Mark's been a great friend. Mark's been a great friend that I've known before both of us really started diving into this social media world. Um, he's very good at it, and I'm trying to get better. Woo! I got a pair of shin savers. I got a new pair of strong sleeves. I got a new pair of the regular knee sleeves, which I really like. Oh, snap. I got a pair of the Americas. 20 inch wraps. Plethora of cuffs. I don't know what these are. These look new. Oh, those are nice. These must be like the new Hogan wraps. Uh, they're calling them? What are they calling them? They don't have a name on these. These look really cool, super stretchy. Oh, gnarly. Black 20 inch gangsters. So of all the lengths of stuff, the 20 inch are the ones I really like the most. And to add to my apparently growing belt collection. That new strong belt, ooh, and that raw leather. Guaranteed bench boner. Man, it's nice. Very, very nice. So that's cool. So as I get back to lifting, I've got that Pioneer belt that they sent me, which is really rad. And I have this one. So I can do a little bit of comparison for you guys for whatever you're kind of thinking. Now these are gonna be two really different things in my opinion. The Pioneer belt is something that's a little bit more bespoke or custom. Mark's belt's dope off the shelf. 
I don't personally know the price point on either. Sorry. But really, really rad. What's up? So after kind of having those belts for about a week, I figured give you guys a little bit of a review, let you know what I think about now having them. And well, all I can really do right now is bench, right? So, but I've owned belts and for a long time, lifted a long time, and at least now I have some options. So, let's compare these two, see what we got. So, Mark's strong belt, new with the raw leather, still suede inside. And Pioneer's belt they made for me. The brand on the outside, suede on the inside. Really nice. So, just just looking at these from the jump, they're both really nice. These are both two of the nicer belts I've ever had. And until I start getting really critical of these, I find them pretty much the same. They're about equal quality. So let's actually try to dive a little bit deeper. About the same length since, well, they're made for me, right? And I'm about the same fat all the time. The Pioneer belt is a hair thicker, uh, as well as the stitching. They're the fucking same. <laughs> they're, they're the same. The stitching and everything look exactly the same. I think Mark's stitching seems to be a little bit more like uniform as far as how far from the edge and stuff like that it is. And I think probably that's because it's made by a machine. Um, whereas the Pioneer stuff I know is done by hand. As far as the suede, on the inside of the belt, seem to use the exact same hardware on top. I went with a single prong is what I prefer. Pioneer did go with a double stitching all the way through the, uh, the, the loop. Marks goes double stitch up to the point that it gets behind the belt and then goes to single. Um, the fasteners on the Pioneer are a little different. Um, I think a little bit nicer, but I don't work with leather. I, leather, I don't know. You know, the, the, the truth is, I personally can't find much difference at all between these two belts. Uh, as far as benching with them and doing stuff like that, I get enough support out of either one that either of these are a perfect purchase. Again, I don't know the prices or differences in price on these two belts, but I, I think both of them quality and look are right on par. Um, Anything that would be needed past this level is too much for me. Again, I can't decipher even enough to tell you where the differences are being made. But they're both really soft belts and coming straight out of the box, they're not gonna be so stiff that you're gonna have to fight with trying to get them to break in. They already both feel very pre-broke. Uh, the Pioneer one is a little stiffer. So I don't know how that will hold up over time since I've only had about a week on each belt. March belt is a lot more flexible straight out of the box. But it's still plenty stiff. I don't have a preference I'm trying to give you the information. I think either one of these belts is going to last a really long time. I think both of them aesthetically are fucking great looking. And I think you can't go wrong with either. There's plenty of shit belts out there, like your Vallejo's, your other stuff like that, that aren't real leather belts. Um, I don't think a 13 millimeter belt is a very necessary for a lot of lifters. Um, chances are, if you are lifting and getting information from me, 10 millimeters is gonna be just fine. Uh, I used a 13 millimeter lever belt whenever I competed in powerlifting because I was also in canvas gear and some other stuff like that and you don't have as much bite and that thing would give you a lot more pressure. Whereas this has a much softer edge on it where it's not going to cut you into the ribs or any of that as you're trying to use it. So I'm a big fan of both. Hope these reviews are relatively helpful. Uh, I'm going to give both of these belts a four out of five bench boners. I don't know what would give me five bench boners, but both of these are a four out of five. So check them out, Pioneer and Strong. I think both of these are killer. 
I mean, I'm pretty impressed from Mark, right? Mark is not a belt company, not a belt manufacturer, but they made a brilliant product here. For something that you can do some more custom design work on, things like that, your gym logo, your team's logo, your logo, Pioneer's got a great product. Check those out, and that's Belt Talk. I don't know how either of these would hold up in a David Carradine uh, situation. Probably a little thick, a little thick for my neck. So, always have a spotter when you're gonna do auto rod asphyxiation. Pro tip.